The LRD6110 works by sensing the thickness of material. The change in thickness between the gap and the label is what triggers the sensor. The light bar indicates the thickness of the material in the sensor. As the thickness increases, the light bar moves toward label. The threshold which triggers the sensor is located at the center of the light bar under the center of the X. As the light bar crosses the center, the sensor output is activated. Adjusting the sensor simply means making sure the light bar is at the label end during a label and at the web end during the gap. The sensor is adjusted with the shift and span controls. The shift control moves the light bar up and down. Turning the shift control toward the L will move the light bar toward label. Turning it toward the W will move it toward web. The shift control can be turned many times, but when it reaches the end, it stops. Forcing the adjustment after it reaches the end will damage the sensor. The span control sets how much the light bar changes in response to changes in thickness. When span is at its minimum, the light bar moves very little when sensing a small label. Increasing the span by turning it clockwise increases the span covered by the light bar as it changes. The span control is a four-turn adjustment. The adjustment will continue to turn after four turns without damage, but adjustment is no longer being made. When using the sensor, adjust it by using the span and shift controls so the light bar is at the label end during a label and at the web end during a gap, and never in the X area except during transitions between labels and gaps. For proper operation, web tension must hold the web against the sensor's backplate. The following is the recommended setup procedure. Adjust the span to its center position by turning four times in one direction and two times in the other direction. This setting will work for the vast majority of labels, so it will rarely need readjustment in the future. Only readjust it if the light bar does not have enough span to go from label to web. Remove one label from the web. Place the web only in the sensor. Adjust the shift so the last web light is on. Don't over adjust toward the web end, just to the last light. Now pull or jog the web slowly through the sensor and verify that the light bar goes to label as the label passes through. Stop the web with a gap centered in the sensor. Verify that the light bar is at the last web light. If not, adjust the shift until it is. The sensor is set up and ready. Remember that future adjustments will usually only involve the shift control. The span control will only need to be adjusted for very small labels or any other time the light bar does not go all the way from web to label. If you have any questions, contact us and we will be glad to help you.